to Cagnes-sur-Mer, a beautiful town that only 25 minutes away from Nice and 13 minutes away from Nice airport. We will share in this video the old town of Cagnes-sur-Mer, Haute-de-Cagnes. This old town is on the top of the hill and uh, is the most interesting part that you will visit. This was a last home of uh, Impressionist painter Renoir. Once he said, the place where I want to paint until the last day of my life. So welcome in the old town of the Cagne. Hmm? This beautiful old town is so close to Nice and Antibes. It's like in the midway between Nice and Antibes. But still, it's less touristy than Aes or Saint Paul de Vence. The villages that people visiting Côte d'Azur are going first. But the old town of Cagnes-sur-Mer has an excellent location. You can even come here by bike from Nice. It will take maybe 40 minutes and spend a part of the day here. This is the end of March and the village is on the sun. In the first part of the day, the steep streets lined with uh, numerous attractive medieval and uh, Renaissance period houses. You see how people take care of their houses. They keep the streets not only clean but very well decorated with lots of plants and flowers houses painted in pastel shades it is quite compact but very pleasant to explore Started by a most quiet part of the village, we are now near the Grimaldi castle. You feel that the tourism is not a main attraction of the village and the people live here year-round. So we stop by to wonder the cost of the houses. 
maison du village de Charles, 130 mètres carrés, terrasse vue sur la mer, six vues. Uh, terrasse and... Some houses are with a sea view. The prices, of course, are higher than in our medieval village. But in the same time, here you're in the middle of everything. There are also some hotels and a few beautiful restaurants inside the old town. If you come to visit this village, don't worry about transport. You will find bus, uh, train, you can come here by car. You're, this village is like really on the middle of everything. Unlikely to other medieval villages. If you miss the last bus, you're like, you don't know what to do. Also, one of the biggest shopping malls on the Côte d'Azur, uh, Polygon Riviera, it's only in nine minutes away from this village. It's really hard to believe when you're strolling along these narrow streets and the amazing Renoir with many other artists were painting here in 19th century. This area of the castle was calling Montmartre of Côte d'Azur. Now we're gonna enter to a Place du Château and we found this cute black cat just on the entrance sitting in the fountain like a guardian Grimaldi Castle is towering over the whole area with a very quiet place, beautiful bell tower. And from here you can enter to a l'église. This église, Saint-Pierre-Saint-Paul, was built in 13th century. There are little more people now on the street and everyone goes one direction. We're gonna follow them because this direction is la place du village because it's the lunch time and uh, there you will find lots of restaurants. Wow! <laughs> This is a very big place du village and there are already lots of people. Bah, Jimmy, c'est bien parce que tu as le vu, mais je sais pas s'il faut some tourists, local people as well because it's Sunday. Best day to enjoy your lunch on the sun. Some families play pétanque. 
This is like a tradition. Wherever you go on Sunday, you will see the people play petang. From all restaurants, you will have this wonderful view over the valley. Even until the Alps, look, there's still the snow. This is quite unusual to have so much snow in the end of the March. From this big square you also enter to a Grimaldi castle, which is closed between 12 and 2 p.m. Like this, everybody sure they not miss their lunch. Over the mercredi or lundi, mars, voilà, midi 14h, uh, c'est fermé. Donc, Donc, we will also have a lunch before we visit the castle. I saw these tables and I was like, oh, we're so lucky, beautiful table, beautiful view. But of course it was reserved. It's always better to think before and uh, reserve the table in the restaurant you like. We know this restaurant, we've been here before, so we're gonna try the same restaurant again. They serve the apéro with the garlic bread and the tapinade. <laughs> Tapenade with the black olives, very typical from the area. And uh, one of the best things to order is the pizza, but I ordered the l'adobe. Because you know I have my cooking channel, so I want to cook it at home. La dobe niçoise was so delicious, so I doubt myself now if I will cook it good. So now in the afternoon the sun is going to another side and this is the best time to visit a castle. Already from the entrance you have a wonderful view, so I can't wait to see the view from the very top of the castle. The entrance fee is 4 euro and uh, every first Sunday of the month is free. First you enter to this stunning internal uh, courtyard with the lovely galleries and a fine staircase. This is absolutely unusual castle. The first thing I said, they don't have winter here, everything is open. It was built in 13th century and there was a residence for Grimaldi family, Les Grimaldi de Monaco. And now it's a charming museum. On the ground floor, mm. there are many items related mm. to the oh, production yeah, no, 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 of olive no. oil. We see from here the restaurant. <laughs> Chris said that it's exactly the same jar that we found in our house next to the stairs during the renovation. Well, who knows from which century is it? You will find a collection of many items and uh, this exhibition shows the importance of the olive to the region. Mm -hmm. Donc, uh, ils ont faisait... This is the ground floor uh, and there are two more levels. The castle's interiors are filled primarily with exhibitions of paintings, graphics, 
and uh, sculptures. Everything is interesting, of course. But for me, the highlight was this staircase with a beautiful view from every corner to the sea, to the bell tower and uh, to the valley. This is the most beautiful room. It's like a hall with the incredibly beautiful painted ceiling. Well, the Grimaldi family were very rich and very powerful. And uh, this castle was once the most important center in the region. And now we are looking the way to go to the rooftop to look down to the village from the very, very top of the hill. Now we are out from the historical place and uh, we saw the cat still sitting on his place. What a hard life. Even we are out from the historical place, but uh, you still have some beautiful streets. But uh, you see it's like a road for the cars. You can pass here with a car. Everywhere around you see the paintings of the artists right on the place. They were painting. They are not really the viewpoint of the village uh, from, you know, outside. But still, on one side of the village, you can have a view of the, like, a corner of the old town with the sea view. 
and uh, everything you see down it is a can sur mer so a can sur mer has like a three parts a seaside resort then this residential area that you see down there and uh, the old town that we tried to show you today we are on our way to the parking we pass the beautiful Chapelle Notre Dame de Protection. You remember I saw a little magnet on the entrance of the castle, so I took it. I'm so, so happy to have a souvenir. And uh, yes, it is a magnet, but uh, little things make you happy, right? Parking is just close to this chapelle. It's an underground parking. I will not suggest you to look for the like a free parking space around the village. I don't think you will find any, so just tap uh, the parking Nice Azure on your navigation. You will have to pay, but you will save your time. This beautiful Chapelle Notre Dame de Protection was closed. It's closed, just on the side of the view. Magnifique. And the entrée du village. Look at the view, oh la la! Qu'est-ce que c'est beau Wow Là en face t'as un aéroport. Ouais. Nice, cas sur mer. Il y a quand même quelques touristes là. Ouais, ouais. So I guess it's time to go. It was a very beautiful and sunny day. The parking that I told you about um, has a very normal tariff for almost five hours that we spent in the village. Uh, we paid eight euro and it calls Planastel, it's uh, automatic car parking. And um, yeah, we're waiting our car to arrive and uh, we're gonna go back home. Voilà, la fin de la journée. Allez, jusqu'à là, until the next village. Let's go. <laughs> bye bye, quinze sur mer. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Next time we will see you at our medieval village. Hope you will have a great weekend. We are sending you lots of love. On vous embrasse fort. A bientôt. Encore, encore.